In today's video, we're going to talk about the dreaded bar chords. I know that you hated those at some point in your playing. Maybe you're still there. This video is going to fix that. We're going to explore the fretboard and replace those horrible bar chords with something a lot more musical and easier to play. Coming up. Hello, my name is David. Welcome to this channel, which is all about helping you develop your musical personality on the instrument. And we're going to fix some problems, some physical problems, the bar chord problem, and also maybe fix some musicality problems by expanding our musical report. I can't pronounce French words with the English accent. Repertoire. I can say it in French, but okay, we're going to expand that. Okay, with your chord knowledge. Before we get any further with this video, I want to tell you about this. I think you're really going to enjoy this. This is a new product by Utility Design called the Vidami, and it's a video looper for YouTube. Plug it into your computer via USB, Mac, or PC. Open a YouTube video, and you can control it with your feet. You can set loop points, so if you're trying to figure out a guitar lick, you can loop that over and over. You can slow it down, you can go back in the video, you can go forward in the video, all that with your foot so that you can focus on your instrument. It's a great way of learning. I will leave all the info in the description of this video. And if you use coupon code WALLAMAN10 in the next two weeks, you will get 10% off your order. Okay, for now, back to the video. Probably uh, the first bar chord you encountered was this. Hopefully you didn't give up guitar. If you're watching this video, you didn't. But I remember seeing this in a book and I struggled for ages, particularly that I had a guitar, a very thick neck guitar. It was, it was not an electric guitar. It was, it was hard. And uh, I realized that now I'd never use those because they don't sound as good and they're difficult to play and, yeah, and they don't sound as good. How do we fix that? Well, we fix that this way. First of all, we need to realize that you don't need all the notes of a chord. As a matter of fact, the more notes you hear in a chord sometimes will make your musical story a lot more cluttered. Because with all that information that you hear in a chord, that leaves uh, the, the mind of the listener um, very little room for imagination. Let's take an F, you know, one, three, three, two, one, one. Ouch. What we're going to do is uh, remove the problem. First, it's a physical thing. We're trying to make it easier. We don't care about what the, the outcome is going to be. We just want to make it easier. So the problem here is that this area right here is kind of like difficult for a lot of players because of the bar. So we're going to remove the bar by lifting it. That's the first thing. Let's hear that. Oh, that's, kind of, that's different. Definitely have a different meaning than this. Same type of chord, yet different. Is it usable? Maybe. Now, you always have to have context with your idea. So we're going to make a simple chord progression. Maybe we'll have F, G, and A minor. Maybe it's a song you wrote. Let's replace that F with the one we just found. Do you like it? I do. Open strings. If no, that's okay. That's where your um, personality, your taste, your likes, and all that comes into the picture. Then try to find something else. Maybe instead of playing, you know, all the, the one, two, three, four, five, six strings, maybe we'll concentrate on the first four strings. So on the fourth string, we have fret number three, third string two, and then we have one and one barred right there. We're gonna eliminate that. So Maybe instead of having uh, three, two, zero, zero, if you don't like that, maybe we can have three, two, zero, uh, three, sorry, three, two, one, zero. Maybe not as dense as this. And this, less notes, which is good for the listener's imagination. Does it work with our context here? Oh yeah, it does. Oh, what's that? Huh, I simplified even more. Instead of having three, two, one, zero, I lifted this by accident. Well, kind of. Really, I lifted it because it's even easier. 
So now I have three, zero, one, zero. Oh, I love that. And this, instead of the bar chord, which is harder and uglier, this, oh, that's beautiful. Sometimes, experimentation on the instrument will lead to really cool discoveries, like we did here. Now, we no longer need that F chord. Now, I know if you've been playing for a while, you're going to say, well, David, what you did here is a major seventh. And if you're playing something of a kind of a blues with a dominant seven chord, with a minor seventh, that's not going to work. I know. It's true. That's where knowledge plus experimentation is awesome because you can you can know that. But this lesson is not about knowledge yet. I'll refer to, uh, to a video at the end of this one that will give you that piece. But for now, we're just experimenting. Here's another one. Um, let's say that we have um, a C minor chord and that's barred version right here. We have, we're not playing the low E string, but we have frets three, five, five, four, three. Okay, that is hard. If we use the same uh, system that we had earlier and we lift, it works. It works too, great. Um, I think it works, but if you don't like it, maybe you, instead of eliminating everything, you'll eliminate just the first one. That works too. And then once you have something kind of cool that you like, ooh, I don't like this, three, five, five, four, zero. No, I don't like this. Move it one fret higher. Oh, yes. I like this. I like this too. That's a D minor seven with something here. We don't care what that something is. You need to watch the other video that I'll refer to at the end, but that's cool. What about this? Ah, uh, not cool. Very cool. No? Yeah, oh. See, same shape. Once you find something cool, that's where you can use your uh, knowledge of music theory so that you can reuse that. But it all starts with the exploration. If you try to make those bar chords non-barred chords by adding some open strings, maybe changing one note, maybe removing some notes, you can basically get away by playing no bar chords at all and it's going to sound richer, you know, more beautiful, and also allow the listener to be more engaged with what you're saying because there's not all this clutter of notes. Less is more oftentimes in music. This video right here will teach you how to come up with any chord. The sky is the limit. It's very easy to follow. Check it out. And since you're already on YouTube, you might as well, right? Check it out. And thanks so much for watching this video. Hey, that's not coffee.